Welcome. In this short video, we're going to learn how to use the publishing features in Personal Historian. Now, the publisher is a tool in the program that lets you put together a book based on the stories that you've written in the program. What's nice is you can create more than one book. So you might create one book that uses only stories like My First Bike and A Puppy for Christmas that's geared towards your grandchildren. On the other hand, you might want another book which goes into all the gory details of your life, you know, your brush with the law and things like that, and, but that might be a separate book. Well, Personal Historian lets you do that. The publisher lets you create multiple books and select which stories should be included in those books what, and how to, how to organize those stories into chapters. Okay, now I'm going to open up an ed, a story here and this story, what I want to point out is a couple of things that are going to make it easier when you actually go to publish a book. In addition to actually just writing the story and having your pictures and whatever, there's these three sections right here, categories, people, and places, that Personal Historian will use when it publishes a book. This first item, categories, lets you assign a category or, or multiple categories to this story. In other words, this story about his puppy goes into his childhood and his pets category. You can also add new categories and, and, and select them as well. But these categories can be used as chapters. It's an option when you're going to create your, your book, you can say, oh, I want a chapter about my childhood and I only want it to only include stories that are in the childhood category. Or I, have a, I want a pets chapter. And I want the stories in that pets chapter to be the ones that I assign to this pets category. These other two work, work kind of alike, people and places. And what these are is personal historian can create an index or indexes for your personal history, for your book. It can create a person index, in other words, a list of all the people mentioned in your personal history, or a place index, which is all the places that are mentioned in your personal history. And this is where Personal Historian gets that information. So if, if you come into here and select people, these people will show up in the index and point to this story. So in other words, in this case, it's his mother and his father who are the ones responsible for getting him this puppy. Places, Colorado Springs is where he lived. and so. In the, in the index at the end, when he's looking at the place index and it says Colorado Springs, it will point to this story as well as any other stories that happened in Colorado Springs. Okay, so those are important. It, you know, a lot of people will leave those blank. And if you do, you know, you won't have any indexes because you haven't told personal historian which people or which places or which category that story belongs in. So let's go ahead and jump right into the publisher. That's this button right here. Uh, it looks like a bunch of books, says manage books. When I click on that, it comes up and says this file, meaning this personal historian file has no books. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a book. I'm gonna say add. And the first thing it's going to do is open me up into this wizard, which is going to step through and ask for a little bit of basic information. And then it's going to take whatever I give it and it's going to plug that into the publisher so that I have a good head start, so I don't have to go in and manually add everything. So I can use the title it suggested or enter a new one. I can enter a subtitle, the legend continues, the author, the publisher. If you don't have no, if there's no publisher, leave it blank. Um, published place, um, uh, wherever you happen to be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. What sections do I want to include in this book? And you can include any or all or none of these special types of sections. And so these are special sections like a cover page and a title page and table of contents. And again, all this is doing is going to quickly add them to the publisher uh, so you don't have to add them one at a time. But you can go in and add them later if you forget or take them out if you add them and decide you don't want them. Okay, which stories do I want to include? Currently visible, that's useful if I've got a lot of stories and I've been over here and clicked 
to filter out or to remove some of the stories from this list. If, the, if I'd done that, I can actually click this and it will only include the stories that are showing. But in this case, I want to say all stories. Okay. Now, how do I want to organize the stories into chapters? And that's one of the big things about, about your book is you could just say, print all the stories. I don't want them in chapters. That's this one right here, stories in a single chapter. That's, that basically just will do your, your cover and title page and your table of contents, and then all your stories will just show up chronologically, just bam, right? It'll just print them all by date. Okay, but these two are two of the more common ways of organizing your stories. So let's go ahead and pick chat categories. And what that means is every category I have will be its own chapter. I'll have a, a chapter called childhood. I'll have a chapter called teenage years. I'll have a chapter called private. I'll have a chapter called married life. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK on that. And I want to, I do want to include the story titles and the story dates. And I'll show you where those are in case you want to take those out. Create a book. And now this is the actual publisher. This is what we call the publisher. And you'll notice it's already got a bunch of chapters entered. It's got the cover page, the title page, and the table of contents that I had told it I wanted. And then all my chapters are listed right here. Now when I click on one of these chapters, there's a number of different things I can do with a chapter. Okay, right now when I highlight this, I can see right here and it's basically saying this chapter called Childhood is going to include stories that meet this criteria. In other words, that are in the childhood category. Okay, teenage years. It's only going to include stories that are in the teenage years category. Now, I can go in and edit this if I want. I can say edit the filter and you'll see that right now it's saying only show stories from these categories right there. So I could actually go in and change this. I could filter by other things. I could say I only want stories that are in the childhood category, but only ones that happened in Colorado Springs. You know, so I mean, so you can, you can, you can actually filter by all of these things at the same time to get very, very specific, uh, a very, very specific chapter. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as categories, uh, as, as categories childhood. So in other words, every category I had is given a chapter. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, going to say publish the book. I'm not going to make any other changes and that opens it up full screen. So let me bring it over here. Here in my print preview is my book. Here's my cover page. There's my title page. There's my table of contents that I asked for. And here are my categories, okay, or my chapters. Childhood, and then all the stories that happened within childhood, teenage years, okay, and then for each story, it's printing the date the, the title and the date, and that was one of the options. If I don't want that, if I just want these to all run together, I can do that. Okay, so there's the teenage years category, there's the college category, the education category. One thing you might want to pay attention to, though, on this, is if you choose to include categories, if you've put a story in more than one category, that story is going to show up in every category that you put it in. So, for example, um, I have this story starting college. Well, it was under teenage years, but it was also in a category called college. So it's displayed there twice. So I might look at this and say, I really don't need this college category or, or this college chapter. So I can go back up into the settings. When I'm in a print preview, I can go back to the settings. That takes me back into the publisher where I can actually make changes. So I can say, this college one, I don't need that because the only story that's in there is also in teenage years. So I can just go up here and say delete. I deleted that and I can republish the book and we're back in here and you'll notice I don't have that college category so I don't have that, that story duplicated in there. Now as I go farther here you'll see that I also have my index of names and so these are the names that I pointed out in the story and so each of these shows what page number that person appears in, you know, and they, if they're in multiple stories, like this is his father, 
his father's on pay, in story on page four and five and 11. And then you've got your index of places, same type of thing. The different places that are mentioned in your, in your personal history are listed here along with the stories. So if somebody wants to know all the different stories that happened in Colorado Springs, there they can just jump right to it. They can go and see all the stories that referred to Colorado Springs. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now when I close it the first time, it asks me for the name of the book because it's going to put that up there. And I'm just going to keep the same one, but I'm going to tag category on the end just for me to keep this straight. This is my history, but it, the chapters are broken out by category. Now I'm going to go ahead and say I want to add another book. I'm not going to worry about filling this in because I could go fill it in later if I wanted. And this time I want to organize the stories by age. When I do that, it asks me how many chapters do I want, and it's doing... You know, and then it tries to break it down. But I can go in here and say, well, I only want eight chapters. And it will, it will knock this down to eight. And I can choose the ages. So I can go in here and adjust these ages. So each chapter, you know, what, what age I want to be included. And I'm just going to use the defaults here. I'm going to create the book. And now you'll see this actually looks very similar to what I had before in that I have the cover title and table of contents, except instead of the chapters being by category, when I highlight them, the chapters are by age, age zero to five, age six to 10, age 11 to 15. And again, I can go in here and change that if I want. I can click edit filter and I can go in and you'll see that now these chapters are based on date. And when you select date, you can actually do date ranges or age range. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Now, I don't have to leave this boring, uh, this boring title. I don't have to have my chapter called age 0 to 5. I can highlight this and say rename, and I can call this chapter the early years. So that the name of that chapter is totally independent of what it is you're filtering. You, you just put whatever it is you want it to show up, but in this case, it's still 0 to 5 years. I'm going to go ahead and publish the book. And here is our book based on age ranges. Okay, and so here we have uh, ages 6 to 10. Now you'll notice that that chapter I had called the early years isn't even here. That's because there were no stories between the age of 0 and 5. The first story uh, occurred within this this age range. And so you've got that boring chapter, age six to 10, you know, and there's first grade and a puppy and a bike and all of that stuff. And again, it goes on and it's exactly the same as it was before with the, with the index of names and index of places. Okay, and so this time I'm going to put this and I'm gonna say age. And so now I have two books. And if I were to want, if I were to, uh, just come into here and highlight this book, which is the one broken down by category, and click edit. I don't necessarily have to change any chapters. I can leave it the way it was. I can just say publish the book and it will regenerate the book based on this criteria using whatever stories are the current stories at the time. What that means is, is that when I get these books created, I can go back and add more stories. And I can write another story, and I might add another, add a story and put it into the, uh, the childhood, put it into the childhood category. And when I come back here and say edit this and print that book, that new story is going to be included in the book. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one last one. And we're going to step through the same way. The only difference is I'm going to say a single chapter. And when it creates the book, You'll see that I, again, have the cover page, title page, and table of contents, which I can change as I highlight it. I can make changes over here, just like when I do this. But when I click on this one chapter stories, it says all stories. It's including all stories. This is how I can go and create totally customized uh, books. So I can come over here and I can say, I want to edit a filter. And I can say, okay, I want this to be categories, and I only want it to be um, teenage years. I want this particular category to be childhood and teenage years. 
Okay, so I can actually have more than one category. Click OK. So you'll see categories. This, this chapter is childhood and teenage years. And I could come up here and I could put um, early, uh, or I could put pre-marriage. Okay, in other words, it's, it's not just childhood, but it's also the teenagers. When I publish that book, it's going to have the chapter that I just created, the pre-marriage, and then when I come down here, it's going to have the, those childhood things, first grade, first bike, and so on. But then it's also going to have the teenage ones, the first, you know, my first date, my brush with the law, starting college. So you can at any time go in to this, make changes, you can add chapters. And like I say, these chapters, the, these filters are extremely powerful. You can, you can say, I only want to include stories that are in this particular place. I only want stories that are within so many miles, 50 miles of this place. Um, I only want stories that mention these people. And so your chapter, your chapter can say, I only want stories that happen within 50 miles of Dallas, Texas, and that mention this person and this person, and that have a category of education. So, so you can get as fancy as you want, adding multiples of these. And by doing that, you can create, you can create books that are extremely powerful and completely custom. So I hope you're able to, uh, to use the, the, this tool, this publisher tool, to create the perfect personal history for whoever it is you want to be reading it.